A lot of times when I meet with a home seller at their home and we're walking through the property, they'll point out things that are either broken or damaged and they'll ask, should I have this repaired before I put the house on the market? And you may be here asking the same question because you saw the title to the video and you're wondering what you should fix before selling your house. Before having the opportunity to see your home and kind of assess the market and knowing what your goal, your timeline, and what your budget is for your home, I've come up with a list of nine items items that seem to grab the attention of buyers that if these were repaired, it would help you as a home seller. And if by the end of this video, you decide, forget about it. It is too much work. I don't want to do this. I just want to sell my house as is. Guess what? You could do that too. We always want to work within your goals, your time frame, and your budget. So once we know the whole picture, it's easier to come up with a plan for your house. I do want to throw up a couple of danger, danger warning signs for home sellers that decide not to do repairs before putting their house on the market. After a buyer does an inspection on a property, I've seen times where the closing gets delayed because the buyer is renegotiating with the seller to either have the repairs done or reduce the price. I've also seen times where the inspection list just looks too overwhelming for a buyer and they've actually walked away from the deal. It's important to know who the buyer is in today's market. About five or seven years ago, home buyers weren't afraid to do a little repairs. They had a little extra cash in their bank accounts, but today's buyers just don't have that cash. And they're really looking for homes that they can just move into, drop their bags and go. If a home buyer walks into a house and they start noticing a lot of things that need to be repaired, it may deter them. It may turn them off as they start adding up costs in their head. Another thing to consider about who will be buying your home is what kind of financing they're going to be using, or will they be getting financing at all. If so, a lot of lenders will require certain repairs be done in order for the house to qualify for that type of financing. One of the things that you can do before putting your house on the market is having what we call a pre-listing inspection. This is where a general home inspector can come over. It's a licensed professional and they can take a look at the condition of your roof. They do a general assessment of the plumbing and the electrical and the functionality of windows and doors and they'll put together a complete report for you. And it's really going to be up to you, hopefully with the guidance of your real estate professional on what items really need your attention. And what topped my list, what made my number one is the condition of the roof. If there are any damaged or missing shingles or broken or slipped tiles, you want to make sure that the flashing is in good condition. And one of the biggest things that causes the most damage is clogged gutters. If you can have the valleys of the roof and the gutters cleared of any debris, and leaves, that would be just a big bonus in my book. And depending on the type of roof you have, there are some great products out there that will prolong the life of your roof, but it's really best to get ahead of the problem rather than trying to fix the problem later. Number two on my list is repairing any damaged doors and windows. This includes the garage door. If you have an automatic garage door opener, you want to make sure that all the safety functions are working properly. Something else that we see a lot in in our area is failed windows. Between two dual panes of glass, sometimes you'll see condensation building or some fogginess, and that means that seal on that window um, is damaged and is no longer working. So it's a good idea to have those windows repaired Sometimes they need to be replaced, but a lot of times they can just be repaired. If there are window screens that are torn or are bent away from the house, it's a good idea to repair those window screens or have them replaced because it'll catch a buyer's eye as they're walking up to the home. And if the house that you're selling is in the Sacramento area or California, any fire rated doors are supposed to have an automatic closing feature. So for example, the door that goes from the garage to the house is supposed to be a fire rated door and there should be some kind of of a spring hinge that closes the door behind you when you enter the property. And number three on my list of items that show up on a home inspection report that cause buyers a little bit of anxiety is improper grading or drainage away from the house. We've heard that water and oil don't mix well, continual water and houses don't mix well either. So we want to do everything that we can to divert any water away from the house. This could be a simple fix, like just making sure that the gutters are working properly and that any drains are diverted away from the house, or this could mean a more extensive fix like doing some grading on the property or adding some French drains to divert the water away from the
the house. I have seen homes where over time, water has done extensive damage to the house, which brings me to my number four repair issue, and that is any foundation repairs. Foundation issues will not only cause the floors to be uneven, where you put a marble at one end of the room and it ends up on the other side of the room, but it also makes it so that doors and windows don't open or close properly. And that's a fire life and safety issue for a home buyer. Number five on my list is repair any plumbing issues. When a home inspector comes into your property, they're going to flush all the toilets to make sure that they are flushing properly and not leaking. They're going to see if the toilet is wobbly and not seated properly. They're going to pull up the sink stoppers on all of the sinks and fill the sink with a little bit of water and then take a look underneath to see if there is evidence or any leaks under any sinks. They're going to turn on showers and exterior faucets and they're going to take a look and see if there is evidence of any leaking plumbing fixtures. These are all items that a buyer doesn't want to have to worry about two or three months after they move into a home. So if there are items that you can repair ahead of time, it will be doing yourself a favor. Number six on my list is repairing any electrical issues. And this could be anything from replacing burned out light bulbs to the actual electrical panel itself. We wanna make sure that if there's an existing exhaust fan in a bathroom or in a laundry room, that it is in working order. Again, if there are any fire, life, or safety issues that you could take care of before putting the house on the market, it's a good idea to just get those done. Number seven on my list is any kitchen repair. Repairs. And this could be anything from damaged and broken appliances. If they need to be repaired or replaced, it's a good idea just to have that done before putting the property on the market. If you have any cabinets or cabinet doors that are damaged, let's get those repaired before putting the house on the market. You already know that a kitchen is very appealing to buyers. So we want to make your kitchen sparkle and shine and have everything functioning and working properly. Number eight on my list is the HVAC system. If if a buyer is getting financing to purchase the home, there has to be some kind of a heat source for the home and it has to be functioning. And we live in the Sacramento Valley and we have stinking hot summers. So I know that buyers will want a functioning, a very well functioning air conditioning system as well. It's so important to replace air filters regularly. That just helps the unit function properly. And if you have an older central heat and air conditioning unit, it may be a good idea to have an HVAC contractor come to your house to inspect it and service it before putting your house on the market. And number nine on my list of things that can be repaired before putting your house on the market, and this is something that typically grabs the eye of a buyer, and this is any drywall damage that is in your home. And this could be anything from stains or mismatched paint on walls to any holes or dents. They tend to really grab the eye of a buyer, and a lot of times they just can't look past it, and that is such an inexpensive repair to make to the house. Now, if after watching this, you you're freaking out because your house needs a lot of repairs, but you want to sell it, but you just don't have the money to do it, please don't freak out. I work with a company that can take care of the repairs for you and they wait to get paid until after we sell the house. So please reach out to me. I don't want you to freak out over something like that. And if you decide, oh, forget about it. I don't want the headache and the hassle. I just want to sell my house as is, but you're a little bit worried about how much it may cost you to do that. I've got you covered on that too. Here's a video right here that you can watch. And if you're a home seller that's looking to get the most value out of your house and you're looking to do any repairs and updates and renovations before putting the house on the market, I'd just like to encourage you to really reach out to a real estate professional that's in your area that knows your market and who is buying homes before heading down that path because we want to make sure that your return is bigger than your output.